Hi everybody, it's Zoe DeLuca here from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm jumping on the video today because there's just been some major changes made on Facebook, again, on the way we work on our pages. So for anybody that's seen my previous video on how to set up a Facebook page for your business, um, one of the key concepts that I said about pages was that you were previously able to set any of one of these tabs up and there's multiple tabs and you can put all sorts of applications on it. The real strength in the Facebook page is you can come on here and openly market your business and even create customized landing pages within your Facebook page. And one of mine, I'll show you what one of mine looks like. It talks about why I'm no longer doing multi-level marketing and it has a complete opt-in into my business page but I do it all within Facebook. Now what I've previously been doing is I had an ad similar to this one over on the right here, which is a Facebook pay-per-click ad. So you pay every time somebody clicks on it and that ad links straight to this No More MLM tab. I also was training people in my previous videos how to customize a welcome tab. So when people came to your page, they would see this customized page with an opt-in box for your business, as well as having the ability to like your page. And they could then click through to this, which is your wall page, which is where all of your general posting discussions and conversations are going on on your Facebook page. Now, while you can personalize this a little bit, as I've done with the graphic, there's really not a lot more you can do it. You can add some applications, but this structure here with the discussions and everything going on is set by Facebook. The change that Facebook has made today that is until you have 10,000 fans or people that like your page, you cannot customize your welcome tab. So all of your information, everybody that goes to your page, either through a link on your advertising or you've referred them to it, will either come to this wall page or your info page. Now you've got a couple of choices. You can set it as your info page and put a lot more information here, but depending on the style of page that you have, that's quite limited as well. The wall would be the place that I would prefer to send people because people can see what's actually going on on your page. But if they're new to your page, you're going to have to have a very, very strong call to action here. So in your status, and you'll notice my status in this recording is telling you and alerting you to this change. What I'm going to do is change that status to welcome people to my page and to give them some direction in going forward. Because I find that most people that come to the page, if they're not already my friend or we've interacted in other social media sites, they get really lost and tend to just click away and they'll miss a lot of valuable content. The other place you could be doing if you're personalizing a professional graphic here instead of just having a photo, then I would be encouraging you all to change these to have a very strong call to action here. Like my page, join in the conversations, you can get my free internet marketing trainings and then have a link through to your website or to your blog. So what you were previously personalizing in an entire customized tab, really you're going to have to customize through this profile graphic and you can also do it as you scroll down the page a little bit in the applications that you're putting here. Now I'm signed into my page so it look a little bit different than yours is. If you are running Facebook pay-per-click ads and you have previously been promoting your page, let me show you what I mean. When you set up your ad, if it said design your ad, what do you want to promote? And you actually had Facebook content and then your page name. So you had a choice of, of page names here or groups. Then if you're on one of these page names, this is previously what it would have looked like. The easiest way to, to know if you've done that is that the headline in your ad will be your page name that you're promoting. And you can't change that. If you were just promote, promoting your page, that's how it will look. If you have been doing that, anyone that clicks on an ad that you currently have running promoting your page will be taken straight back to your wall page or your info page, which for most people you had a very strong call to action in the ad and that should have been transitioning beautifully into your customized tab on your page. There's going to be a massive disconnect now because people are going to go from the ad promising them free report, free information, great training, whatever it is, and then they're just going to be thrown into your wall with people chatting and carrying on and thanking you for trainings or um, for meeting them last week, whatever it may be. So people will really have no idea why they're there and they just, just you know, walk away. <laughs> Basically, they're going to click away, but you have paid for the click. So there's going to be a massive loss of advertising dollars if you don't change that immediately. You've got two choices. Just stop the ad 
first of all while you work that out and get a very strong call to action back on your wall or the other way to do it is now go and create a new ad and you can simply copy the ad so the ad you're previously running up here say copy an existing ad click the one that you had been running before which in this case was the one for my page it will bring up the information that was in that same ad but instead of having design your ad Facebook content you want to click the little link here that says I want to advertise a web page now the web page that you want to advertise is the URL of the customized tab on your fan page so you need to go back to your fan page make sure you've clicked on the tab that you were previously promoting and that you want to promote that was previously your welcome tab copy and paste the URL from the address bar up the top here and that's the URL you should be using in your advertisement so where it says destination URL just paste in the one the URL for your customized tab the good thing about this is you're now able to change your headline to anything you want it to be which will be a stronger call to action uh, on the negative side it I imagine it's going to be more difficult to have these approved um, I certainly encourage you to keep the URL still on your Facebook page if you start to go to external links or links straight through to your business page even if that's a personalized capture page you'll find that you've got about a 95% chance of, of Facebook disapproving your ad so make sure you're still promoting the tab on your page within Facebook but you need to change it to a destination URL rather than promoting just your page and your page name trust that helps I'd love your comments and feedback leave them here I'll post this up at Facebook as well as on the blog and if you have questions by all means pop them there as well um, our Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Mark and Zoe so M-A-R-K-A-N-D-Z-O-E or you'll find me over at Twitter I'm at Z DeLuca at Z-D-E-L-U-C-A Talk to you soon. Have an awesome day and get those ads changed before you're wasting advertising dollars.